All right, guys. So we assigned you a project this week called the Kings and Queens of Chemistry. And the one of the components that I wanted to keep in this project, um, because I think it does get you a little bit out of your comfort zone, and I think that's a good thing, is the idea of including audio or video in your project. Uh, it would be very easy to assign you a very easy sort of PowerPoint-based project um, and using a Google Slides presentation like the one you see in front of you is certainly an option, but I want, I want to challenge you to sort of get out of your comfort zone and do something a little different. Um, I think public speaking is, is an immensely difficult thing, even in a video. Um, it took me a long time before I was used to the sound of my own voice on videos, and I've been doing this for literally a decade. And so... This is a, a really important skill, I think, to learn to be able to express yourself verbally in these situations and to be authoritative and knowledgeable about a subject. And so that's what we're encouraging you to do here. Now, um, the sort of psychological part of that is one thing, but the logistics of that, depending on the format that you're using, are quite another. And so I wanted to give you a few tips that have helped me to sort of put integrate audio into some of these presentations. And so in front of me, I've got a, a couple slides of a presentation I would make um, for this project on Albert Einstein. That wasn't one of your choices. He's more of a physics guy, but I figured this is somebody that somebody that everybody already knows and a good candidate to, you know, kind of put together a few sample things. So, um, what I've done here is I've made a slide on his early life, uh, where he was born, what he did, what he learned in school, all of that. And what I want to do is I want to put in some audio here. Um, and unfortunately, Google Drive, Google Slides rather, doesn't really give you the option to do voiceovers. But what you can do is you can record a voice memo. Um, you may have used the Voice Memos app on your iPhones. Um, the your Macs also have voice memos. If you just do a spotlight search for voice memos, it's one of the things that shows up on your computer. So you should all have access to this. Now, uh, if I open up the voice memos, it's a very, very simple interface, and it gives you the ability to record a voice memo. Um, you just hit the record button, and you start talking, and it's super simple. Now, um, what I would recommend you do when you're done with that voice memo, and I'm gonna, gonna close this window here real quick, and that one, um, I would just recommend dragging and dropping the whole file to your desktop. It should show up there, and you can use it from there to put in your presentation. Now, um, the bad thing about Apple versus Google is that Apple loves a format called M4A. Um, it might be media for Apple for all I know. Um, but the most of the other services use MP3 files and Google, Google apps are one of those things. So you're going to need to convert that M4A file to an MP3 file. And so I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do that here. I'm just going to delete this old copy and I'm going to go back here to a free service called Zamzar. Um, there are a lot of sort of third party conversion services that are super sketchy. Like if you get a bunch of pop up ads when you down, when you get, go to one of these converter websites, go away. It's probably going to put something nasty on your computer. This one I've checked. It seems legit. Um, I've downloaded a few things here and it seems pretty safe. So I'm going to go ahead and add files here. Um, and what I'll do is I will find that file on my desktop. It's taking me a while here, unfortunately. That one that I just had here and then, so I'm just going to click convert now. It's going to be super, super quick. You can see that it's happening in real time and it takes all of, you know, seven seconds to download. So I'll go ahead and download that. 
and well, uh, you, you want to be careful here because it does limit you to two free conversions a day. So you want to make sure you get the file right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this file that I've already that I've already played with here, uh, this one down here labeled Einstein Childhood, and I'm going to go ahead and put it into my CPCHEM folder here. It's going to tell me that one already exists, um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it in there. So now that I've got that there, I can go back to my Google Slides presentation. I'm going to go to insert and then audio. That will obviously allow you to insert an audio file. And it should, if, if you know the name of your file, you can just type it in here. It does have to be in Google Drive for you to do that. So the first thing you need to do when you get that MP3 file is to put it somewhere in Google Drive where you can find it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this Einstein, Einstein childhood file. I'm going to select it and then it's going to put it in my presentation. Um, I'm probably going to want to move this, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get the cursor just right. I'm going to move it over here, and I'm going to go ahead and expand it a little bit. And then when I go into my file, and you may or may not be able to hear this with the free version here, but I'm going to go ahead and play this. I'm just going to quick play. Albert Einstein gonna... was born in 1879 in Ulm, Germany. Although he was doing... So what I've done, and I'm not sure if you can hear that, I'll, I'll find out when I finish this video, is basically an audio version of the text that's on the page. And that would be a way to satisfy that audio requirement. Um, and the beauty of that is that you already have a script right in front of you that you can use. Now, uh, one, one thing I should mention is that the voice memos are also on your phone. So you can actually record a voice me memo on your phone, go ahead and airdrop it to your computer, and then you'll have it right there. And you can go through the same process that we just did. Um, I'm going to stop there for now, but uh, again, that, that website is zamzar.com. And it's a really good um, M4A to MP3 com converter that you're going to need to make sure you get the audio files in the right format. If you need any help, don't hesitate to ask. Hope this was helpful. Bye.